it's admirable you went through that, but it's also admirable to me that you were able to start falling in reverse while you yeah. were in prison. How the hell did you do that? Uh, yeah. So I would this, you know, I play. That's how I made a lot of my songs. I just, all the songs, you know, couldn't sing really loud. I didn't want to annoy people. So I had to like kind of whisper it. So I had to get my voice back when I got out. Hmm. I didn't know how to, I was like doing this, doing this instead of like belting. Right, right. right. I had to relearn all that. And uh, that didn't take too long. But I wrote all the songs like that, like the, you know, Dianac, Dianac singing the guitar parts and stuff. It was, I had a lot all the time in the world. So I just write the lyrics. Thankfully, I know how to write songs and I would keep them in my head. I'm mm -hmm. so thankful for that because a lot of people, they don't know, they don't have that, that capacity, you know? So I was very grateful for that. Were Imagine you able to remember because you couldn't record on anything, right? Oh, I mean, I was doing it every day over and over. Gotcha. You know? So it's like, you know, you do that every day for two and a half years. You're going to, you're going to remember, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. So did you put together a lineup as well? Or did you just have this idea of here's the songs and I'll find guys to play with? Uh, there's someone that was helped me, helped me that was out there, but he was more and he started getting uh, a, a lot of attention. And I feel like that went to his head. So he, so he didn't understand how to take that, mm -hmm. but he started just letting people like join the band. I was like, in prison. And there was like, there's like <laughs> seven five band members. I was like, that people are in the band. I don't, you know, <laughs> You're right. It was weird, but yeah, there was one guy named Jackie. He's very good uh, solos and stuff. And um, it kind of formulated in like that. And I got out. And I was so, oh my God, man, I couldn't go in public. It must have been a nightmare being in band with me. I couldn't do anything. Because you know? of your mental state. Yeah, and I was aggressive too. Hmm. I couldn't help it. I was super aggressive. You know, just hindsight is 2020. I, I'll just tell you that for sure. Did, um, did, did you know, like you said, you're in for two and a half years. Did you know, like, okay, I'm getting out on, you know, May 12th, or, or was it kind of like you had to go for probation, or how did that work? I went for probation. They didn't let me out on probation. Thankfully, I'm glad they didn't because gotcha. they, they wouldn't let me leave. Mm -hmm. I just all my time. I was supposed to get on on my birthday and they're so disgustingly mean in there that they, my release date was my birthday. They let me out the next day. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dude, I, I remember when I, like, once again, I'm not comparing because this is just my own little experience. I, ha I had a piece of paper and I was writing by the hour, like one, two, three, four, five, you know, six. And when I got to that 72nd hour, I was like, if I would have had to stay for another hour, I would have lost my fucking mind because I was counting one, two, three, four, 59, 60. It's 72 hours. Can I get out now? Can I get it now? Like I was just yeah. so like, oh, that extra day must have felt like an eternity for you. It was wild. Couldn't sleep. And uh, you know that feeling, you know, when you, they, because they escort, you know, they're releasing you. Yeah. You get, you get like um, uh, dopamine, like it, it's un indescribable. Like, mm. I guess you know I'm talking about. They uh, uh, roll it up and they open the loud door and they're like, come on. You're like, what do you mean, come on? I'm, you're letting me go. And they're like, yeah. Right. Just, the whole thing floods your body. And then, Right before you get released, they probably put you in this room. And then there's the door that mm -hmm. opens outside, and then the other door closes. Mm -hmm. And you're, in the, you know, and then that door opens, and it's outside. And you walk mm -hmm. out, and you're like, for you, since you weren't in there and you weren't traumatized, you know, in a sense, you're probably like, oh, fuck, you know, yeah. I'm going to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yeah, it's probably fucking yeah. crap. I already know. Yeah, yeah. I went to jail too. I went to jail, and they let me out, and like. 24 hours, 36 hours. I've done that too. I know yeah. that fucking incredible getting out. So when you got out just now, you're talking about, you've got some songs that you've written in your head and on the desk. Yeah. Uh, was it hard to, to get a new record deal? Were you kind of like untouchable yeah. or were they waiting for Ronnie Radke to get out? They're waiting. They're, yeah. They were scared. I was going to, they waited like a month or two to see if I was going to go straight to drugs. And I didn't. Right. Yeah way too traumatized to do drugs yeah right no way yeah uh, I drink beer 
because it helped my, I thought it would help my anxiety. It helped, but it just made it worse every morning, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was the same label that I went in with and they just, we just kind of immediately went, I went to Florida and made my first album. And it was a mm. huge album too. Drug Me Is You, it was very big. It did it very big, well. Yeah. yeah. For the time, for the time, it did well. Yeah. You made it with uh, with Elvis too, right? With Mike yeah. Basket. Yeah. Yeah. How, how was how was he working with knowing what you had just gone through? Was he a guy that you had known before? I've known. I, he uh, got. He's the reason I got signed because he did my first demo and he did my Escape the Fate album too. Gotcha. He gotcha. did my demo. My demo sounded so good back then. So the label's like, who the hell did this? This sounds. All the other demos sound like crap in all the bands, and this one sounded like high produced. So mm. the label was instantly interested. You know. So we, yeah, I knew him in Vegas. We did a lot of, st <laughs> never mind. Actually, we did a lot of, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We had a lot of fun for sure. But um, that was a long time ago. But yeah, he understood. It was still hard. I was very, oh man, I was so messed up. I was so messed up getting out of prison and making an album. You know, I had to stay in a little hotel. I was comfortable inside a hotel. I didn't want to leave, you know. Cause it was a smaller room. Maybe you had smaller. I just had so much anxiety dude around people. People made me nervous. Hmm. They're like their facial expressions would make me nervous. I'm completely not like that anymore. Like I could be in large groups. I can have conversations with anybody now, but um, hmm. not then I had full meltdowns. I couldn't be with more than one person at a time. If there's two people in the room, it made me feel very crazy. Really? Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Social anxiety. Insane, man. Which yeah. is interesting because you're the front man of a rock and roll band, which means when you're on stage, you got to be the party host and the, and the focus of the, of everyone's that attention. Was that, that was so, fine. Yeah, that was fine. Bizarre. Cause it was loud. I was protected by how loud it was. Hmm. You know, it was usually when it got really quiet because in prison, if it got really quiet, something really bad was going to happen. Mm. You could tell because it would get really quiet. And I'd be like, is it me? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, hey, what's happening right now? They're like, oh, so, so, so and so is going to. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, are you telling me the truth right now? Yeah. For reals, you don't know. Is someone going to do something? Right. You know, when it gets really quiet in there, the energy changes. So I think I um, relate that with. When I got out, if it got really quiet, if the room got really quiet, I'm looking around, especially when people know I went to prison and they just meet me. Mm -hmm. They're not very loud or like themselves. They, they're they kind of shy or they get quiet and they don't realize that that was bad. So it was it sucked for sure.